Welcome back to V Recaps. Today, we will talk about the 2022 romantic comedy movie entitled A Perfect Pairing. <laughs> Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. This movie introduces us to Lola Alvarez, a ferocious and bold executive for Mythos Wines. After saving a distribution deal with well-known restaurateur Hamish King, she sets her sights on Australia's Vaughn family wines. She informs a colleague, Audra, about her next mission, which come back to bite her. The following day, her colleague presents Vaughn family wines at a meeting, and their boss Calder guarantees her a promotion. Consequently, Lola resigns and declares Calder to be the worst leader ever. For my new company logo. Wow. She then establishes Salud Imports, her own wine distribution business, and flies to Australia to work out a deal with renowned winemaker Hazel Vaughn. Lola rents an Airbnb cabin on the Vaughn Sheep property to get closer to her. After packing her belongings and flying to Australia, she travels to the lush verdant property in Warata. There, she meets the station's charming supervisor, Max. When he finds her, she is lost within the main house, so he takes her to the cottage. As they make their way to the Airbnb, Lola finds Hazel unexpectedly. It doesn't take her long to introduce herself and her goals. Though Hazel is impressed with her study, she states clearly that Vaughn Family Wines is a significant business and that she would never give her account to a novice whose distribution venture hasn't even been officially established. Max takes the opportunity to tell Hazel that their station's new hire has deserted, leaving them shorthanded for sheep shearing season. When the chance arises, uh, well, I, I can do it. Lola seizes it and offers to do the work. She wants to prove to Hazel Vaughn that she has unmatched grit and tenacity. Hazel gives the decision to Max, who reluctantly agrees. Lola pledges to convince her new boss to reconsider the account and begins learning about her responsibilities under his new boss Max. Lola's stay is increased from two days to two weeks and she is now required to reside with her co-workers in the Shearer's quarters. Lola starts working right away, but she has troubles with jobs like cleaning, fixing fences, and feeding sheep. You are a grand dame, a diva. You are Barbara Streisand. She nevertheless interacts closely with Barbara, a seasoned sheep. Following that, determined Lola makes friends with her co-workers, who initially treat her badly because she is the new Jillaroo at the station but ultimately warm up to her. However, a few days later, she makes the decision to leave her work and return to Los Angeles after screwing up a task in front of Hazel and Max. Hi, here I am. Hard at work, whoa! Lola then asks Max for a ride, but when Max's car breaks down on the way into town, Lola and Max are forced to walk back to the station. He nudges her to stay and take the chance of wooing Hazel. As she reflects that evening, Lola finds inspiration after reading a book about Sibylla Vaughn, the person who transformed the Warata property into what it is today. She then decides to continue what she has started. Max soon sees her persistence in obtaining the account. Lola also shares with him every detail of her life, including her divorce and upbringing by a single parent. However, Max keeps his past a very closely guarded secret. One evening, Lola spots Max swimming in Hazel's pool. When she jokingly calls him out for trespassing, Max claims that Hazel is out of town and that she never uses the pool. Max convinces Lola to swim, and as they enjoy themselves in the pool, Hazel returns with a smile after seeing them. Following that scene, the two gradually tighten up their connection. One day after shearing sheep, Max and Lola ride their motorcycles to a waterfall. Max then reveals to Lola that he was once a rash and reckless local kid who had to pull himself together after his mother died of cancer. You call me Cheetah? Yeah, he is because you are! One night, Lola and her co-workers get into a wild bar fight and Max rescues them. 
he proposes to drive Lola to the winery the following day and compels her to taste the wines. The two then deepen their friendship over an expensive bottle of wine when he brings her to her cabin. He even tells her that Barbara, who was meant to be dinner the following weekend, will be spared since Lola adores her. Max also attempts but fails to tell Lola the truth about his identity. The two then cuddle and kiss each other. The following day, Max speaks the truth before allowing her to speak. He tells her everything about himself, including the fact that he is Sibylla's great-great-grandson and Hazel's brother, and that he has funded the business covertly. Lola is not pleased with this revelation, stating that she never cared about his last name and that the deception was uncalled for. Lola and Max return to the station, where they are notified that Hazel wants to talk to Lola. When she arrives at the house, Lola is startled to see Calder, Audra, and Hazel chatting. Calder? A moment? Alone? Calder proposes to rehire and promote Lola while they finish a distribution agreement, offering to give her a higher salary and allow her to manage the Vaughn family wines account. Subsequently, Lola decides she will never work for a horrible and arrogant employer like Calder again. Hazel expresses her regret as Lola will be excluded from Vaughn Family Wines US Growth. As a parting present, Lola gives Hazel a new possible emblem for the business, a drawing of Sibylla. As she walks away, Audra follows her to apologize for her conduct, and the two make up in a manner. In the meantime, Max speaks to Hazel and tells her that working with Mythos is the wrong decision. She responds that he ought to have spoken out sooner for the business and Lola. Thereafter, Lola bids farewell to her co-workers and then Max visits her. They exchange heartfelt goodbyes before parting their ways. Lola returns to Los Angeles a few months later and has gained a few clients. Audra also participates in the venture. She explains to Lola that Vaughn Family Wines has cut ties with Mythos, according to the most recent news. Audra then proposes pursuing them again, but Lola declines. That's when Audra argues that Max's disclosure of his identity to her was his means of finally figuring out who he really is. Lola thinks about it but doesn't linger on it. The next day, Salud Imports sets up a booth at a wine tasting event to exhibit the bottles of its few clients. Hamish stops by to say hello and casually mentions how Lola wasted the Vaughn opportunity. This is when Max appears on the scene and claims that he, not Lola, ruined it. He discloses that he is now completely involved in the business of the firm and would want Salud to be their new distributor, a proposal that Audra promptly approves. Max also presents the new Sibylla brand bottle design to them and apologizes to Lola. I came all this way to say I'm done hiding out. I was a fool to let you go. He goes on to say that he should never have let her go and that he will bring her back to Australia because Barbara misses her. Lola realizes he loves him and they eventually share a passionate kiss. They return to Waratah for the wedding of one of Lola's co-workers. A perfect pairing concludes with everyone having a wonderful time. This movie taught us both not to give up and to give up. We must let go of things that are not good for us particularly a toxic environment, and we must be determined to attain our aspirations regardless of how rough the journey may be. We should not be afraid to take risks, it's better than not trying. Ultimately, a perfect pairing emphasizes that you will know when love is real when the person you love accepts you for who you actually are. If you enjoy watching our videos, feel free to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get updated whenever we upload new videos.